Kings. He that, has. that is okay. Actually, he went Falcon. Yeah. Okay. So I think like he's opting for the punish game because it's so rewarding against Yoshi. You hit him once with like an up smash or a forward air, and you get zero to death. All right. All right. He gets a grab. Ooh. See, this is bad news now. This is going to be like, a death. Oh. I feel like he definitely should have waited for the tag and up smashed. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Okay, let's we'll see if he upbeats the jump. Oh, that's one of the only things you can do with Falcon to counter the um, armor, but Yoshi was not at the right angle there to go for that. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like up, up B is such a, a better option than that. Yeah. But I, don't know, I still respect the attempt. Ah, uh, that's, that's curtains. Yeah, that's you get Falcon. stuck in shields. Uh, the shield stun is so high that Yoshi can just up your shield over and over, and you actually can't escape. Mm -hmm. And then if he gets that up tilt, he does death combos you. I was saying before, like, shielding in 64 is only a movement option, really. You don't want to be shielding. Unless you're Yoshi. Like, yeah. Yoshi's the only character, again, who breaks the law of the game. Yeah. Nice up B. Cleans it up. Ooh. Okay, somehow gets that grab. Let's see if he waits for the tech this time. He and this should to. be a dead Yoshi. No, he should have kept going for the up up B. <laughs> oh, that down B That's actually stage spiked him. Yeah. There are no wall techs in this game. Is that going to break a shield? Yep. Yeah, it does. It always does. Although it is like good positioning by Wizzy because if like, it can just shield poke instead sometimes. Dude, the crowd are loving Wizzy right now. Oh, yeah, Wizzy's insane. <coughs> he is like the Amster of 64. He just brings the hype. Yeah. Nice and parry um, up smash. The thing about Yoshi's get up, unlike most characters, you have to respect the first frame. Because um, the first frame is invincible if you shield straight away. And that's done. Back at yeah. four there. Um, really good against the fast forwards in this game. Yeah, really solid stuff. Yeah. So I can see Wizzy's uh, punish game is on point. <laughs> yeah, and this game is really a boils down to punish game in the end, I would say. Uh, if you can execute all your zero deaths, as Wizzy can do, then just comes you just down gotta win to one outplaying them. Yeah, just gotta win one neutral per stock. Exactly. All right, where's the Optimus, or uh, Tank Optimus Day Falcon? I feel like um, Boom Fan be Wizzy in this matchup. Obviously, he used Pikachu as well, but um, when he was playing Falcon, he was going for a lot of like up smashes and grabs in this matchup. Yeah, up smash is a really good opener for Falcon. Because dash grab, you can't really react to it. It's also just very safe. Like, there's very little lag on, on grab. Yeah. Oh. All right, Queen Zero Death from Tank. Oh, you don't want to be double jumping by the edge like that, Falcon. Uh, this is going to be it for That's this stack. One mistake. Welcome to 64, boys. Um, oh, Wizzy actually drops the edge guard. A rare miss. Nice option with the Falcon kick. This should be the end of stock, yeah. but Tank also flubs the punish. Got some flubs. Reverse up air? Yep. Oh, that's actually really hard. All right, so he still has a jump. From that situation, you have to dash, pivot, then double jump up air while moving towards them at the same time. So it's like six inputs in like one second. Yeah, that's crazy. It's really fun though. <laughs> oh, it goes for the up B. Thinks that Wizzy's going to like jump or shield above him. Damn. No, greed is your worst enemy. <laughs> That's going to be it. Like, <laughs> Falcon has no way around this at all. That's actually a really cool edge guard. I feel like Wizzy has like options for everything. It's really good. Alright, see how Tank tries to edge guard here. Oh, uh. oh, he pressed down. See, okay, so if you wiggle without pressing down, you don't fall. You don't fast fall, and then you can just break out. Okay. And you still have your jump, too. You're ruining the lives for every single Yoshi player in the world. You realize that. <laughs> They're going to like go in the forum and be like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see, he gets his opener again, and it's going to be an up smash. I'm surprised he didn't go for um, double jump, cancel, neutral to forward X. That would have killed as well. But this is with, he knows his punish game. I'm yeah, not going to say mean, anything. Yoshi has a million things he can do once he gets that up to As long as you get the kill. Yeah, right? they all have the same result in the end. So he's doing what he's most comfortable with. This is looking so bad. Like, Tank had such a good start, and then he got hit three times. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. I, I, I feel like, you know, Tank is having a hard time winning neutral game here. He's not getting his first hits. Yeah. So I think I'd like to see him try Fox. Fox is like the neutral game god in this game. 
Yeah, but the punish game and consistency is the hottest part. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Fox has short hop double lasers, uh, which is like Falco sharp laser in melee, except but you can shoot two in one jump. But annoying. Super, yeah. super annoying. And solid against Yoshi, but like he doesn't want to do it. All right, tank opting to stay Falcon. Mm. The thing with Falcon, like you really only need five openings. I really want to like, see some dash grabs from Tank, but he did it in such a bad spot there. All right, also, he gets his grab. Another thing about this game is uh, rolling is actually a good option in some situations. Wow, that up smash actually hit. See, now Tank finally got the first hit in this game, but he wasn't able to close out the stock. My God. And that's it. Forward air has like a million seconds of hit lag in this game. It's like hitting the Falcon Stomp. Yeah, and also Yoshi's up tilt has set knockback, and that's why it always combos. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that back throw was an accident, but... He probably sure. was. Yeah, because he could have done forward throw to a, a dash pivot up there. It's the magic of 69, dude. Oh, never mind. It's <laughs> that, I mean, that was smart. Right. Ooh. I feel like he's throwing it with these, like, city decisions in neutral. Yo, real quick, we got a $25 donation from Anonymous and a $10 donation from Phoenix2448. He said, go Super Smash Bros. Yo, awesome. Thank, thank you guys so for donating. <laughs> All right, Wizzy's still alive on the stock. Oh, mistake from Wizzy. He definitely could have got back there. Yeah, all Tank had to do was go out there and threaten the space, force Wizzy to hold back farther than he had to. Mm -hmm. And up smash. Done. Pretty much, if you hit Falcon far out or a really bad angle, there's no way for him to get back in this game. Yeah, it's impossible. They have to mess up. <laughs> like, his up B horizontal distance in this game is like Ganondorf in melee. It's so bad. Like, he can't go anywhere. It's even worse, in and my opinion. That's oh, he gets out. Good okay. up smash on wake up. Smart tech chase. Oh, oh. no tech. <laughs> and what's funny is that was totally unnecessary. He could have just forward smashed. He could have yeah. up beat. I feel like he's given up. He wants to like the crowd on the side. Just get like some momentum going. Like, and oh, um, Falcon's up B is uh, really deceiving in this game as well. It goes a lot lower than you think it would. And you can't reverse up the recovery like melee as well. Yeah, only yeah, only towards the edge. Yeah. I mean, you can't grab the edge backwards. Oh, I thought he was going to armor him there. Oh. Right, don't press down, don't press down. No, he doesn't okay, know. Okay, except he doesn't. He, he wasn't able to wiggle. You know what? <laughs> We're going to have to do it, man. Even the wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Wizzy takes winner's oh finals 3 0 solidly. Wizzy's definitely the heavy yeah. favorite for this tournament. We're gonna get some Yoshi dittos, probably, I think, on <laughs> stream. If Sheer makes it to the grand finals, uh, Sheer is in loser semis playing Lord Narwhal in a rematch where Lord Narwhal, Narwhal actually upset Sheer Madness. Yeah. Uh, and Falcon versus Yoshi, the same which, matchup actually. Which upset me. <laughs> Oh. And then he beat, she beat me too. Like God he, he ended our bracket runs early. He had a good bracket. He he ran through us. <laughs> so good. All right, just setting up. <laughs> good job, Wizzy. So Sheer Madness is a local Florida Yoshi player. Uh, one of the original Yoshis on that play. <laughs> Or he's pro probably the most well-known Yoshi on that play. He's an online warrior. Yes, and he's only been to a few console tournaments, to my knowledge, outside of any Florida locals. He went to Apex 2013. I think it was tw it was either actually no, it was Apex 2014 that he went to. Okay. The Apex that was saved. No, the one before that. Oh, okay. The one that was in the place then. <laughs> that was a that was a really good uh, apex for 64. Yeah, okay. it had that, a lot of hype. Yeah, that's the one where uh, Kikoshi, right? No, Mo Moyashi came Moyashi? to that one. Kiko oh, Kikoshi yeah, yeah. came to 2013. Not bad. Uh, that one had there, 2014 had Moyashi, Roika, Danchan, and uh, oh, there's one more I can't remember. Anyway, uh, Shira ended up losing to Roika Danchan in that tournament. The Japanese Falcon player. 
How did I say it? Hey guys, real quick. We got a $10 do donation from Dunks SF. He said, make sure to check out the inaugural SF Game Night Smash 64 Twitch stream. It's called The End Is Nair. The End Is Nair. End Is Nair. This Wednesday, October 28th, 8 p.m. From Wait. I thought SF Game Night meant the gaming nights. Never mind. I'm not reading this. Gaming nights ran the event. Okay. I didn't realize that. My bad. I wouldn't right. have promoted it. So he's uh, Smash, it's a, it's a North Smash 64 yeah. tournaments. Yeah, it's a yeah. North Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's, I think they're starting uh, 64 nights at the Foundry venue. Yep, yep. Oh, there you go. So yeah, if you love Smash 64 and you want to see some more action, follow that. Yeah, and that's great. I think weeklies is definitely the best way to grow a local scene. Uh, like we started in weekly 64 tournaments at Xanadu, and there's now like 25 active players or so. No, I watch it sometimes. Yeah, yeah we're gonna start good. streaming it soon on the main channel. So that's gonna yeah, be I used to go to those before they moved to Monday, and I can't go on Monday unfortunately. <laughs> Gotta bring in the Smash 64 love, man. One second. I know uh, Z Ziltoid Falco donated $20. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. No message. I'm guessing All right, well, that's it. another $30. Yo. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna make it to the uh, Do It Is Sandstorm dance. Yes, that's all a, the way. That's a 50k, right? Yeah. Come on, guys. We gotta, we gotta dance, man. Yeah, and also, I'm pretty sure this stream actually goes 24 hours, like for three straight days. Yeah. So we got guys got all night for great content. We're gonna dance all night if we get there. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen the gif of like Beauty King's hands being like raised by Hungry Box or something. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna make that happen again if we hit Beauty 50K. King's here. Hungry Box might come. Like just to visit a bit. Okay, well we got loser semis. Mm -hmm. Sure man, this is Yoshi. We're seeing a lot of uh, Yoshi and Falcon. Yeah, so like Yoshi's definitely had a resurgence in the past couple of years. We've seen multiple Yoshis in top eights of every major. He's a really I good character. I think there were three Yoshis in Apex top eight this year. Uh, two Yoshis in Smash Con top eight. Here we have two Yoshis in this top four. Yoshi's a, a really good character in this game. I feel like Yoshi destroys anyone who isn't a top player. 